In this how-to video, we will discuss how to document and manage your internal controls using Compliance Center. When documenting your internal controls in Compliance Center, the first thing you need to do is set up your control environment. The control environment allows you to define your internal controls hierarchy while applying appropriate permission levels within that hierarchy. When setting up your hierarchy, you may want to define it based on your organizational structure, such as I have done here. You could also do it perhaps based on different business cycles in your organization or different compliance initiatives or regulations you need to comply with. In addition to setting up your control environment, you can use the set of different default document templates provided in Compliance Center. Each one of these document templates has a list of different properties that you may want to track on that document. You can come in and edit the properties or delete the properties and add your own. In addition, you can remove any of the existing document templates and also add new document templates for tracking purposes. In addition to the document templates, we've also provided a default control library that lists many of the different processes, risks, and controls that an organization may want to document. You could use this as a supplement if you're already documenting your internal controls or as a starting point if you're just beginning that process. If you're currently using another system to document your internal controls, you can easily bring that information into Compliance Center by using the import wizard we've provided. We've got a list of guidelines to show you how to format your document so that you can quickly and efficiently bring that information into Compliance Center. What I've done in our how-to video is actually use the default control library and imported that into our internal controls form. So you can see Contoso already has many of its different processes, risks, and controls documented within Compliance Center. If Contoso wanted to start documenting a new process, they could easily come in and add a new document. For example, maybe they want to start documenting their inventory process. They could select the process document and create that. And now start building out that tree by creating the additional risks and controls associated with their inventory process. Within the control, internal controls form, you can also great, gain views into the information in here by understanding which controls had been tested in the system. And also you may want to understand what documents were owned by you. In addition, on the Compliance Center homepage, we've provided some visuals into understanding what controls have already been tested and marked as effective, which ones are not effective, as well as your overall status and progress in documenting your internal controls. With each one of these charts, you can drill down on them to understand the details behind them. In this how-to video, we showed you how you can easily manage and document your internal controls using the default document templates provided, the controls library, as well as the import to quickly bring that information all into a single area, allowing you to manage your internal controls more efficiently and analyze your progress quickly.